I don't even know where to start. Hi, my name's Isaac. I used to make YouTube videos when I was a kid. And now I'm a 25 year old. That's it. The thing about time is it never stops to let you breathe. What once was a memory is now a chapter in a book. In time, you change. Your goals change, your life changes, your relationships change, it all changes. Life is going by like a graphic novel, one chapter at a time. And before you know it, you're 25 chapters deep. You're making huge life decisions. You're finding yourself in new ways that you never thought you would. You may be reading chapter 25 and 26 and 27, but you're still stuck on chapter 15. You're still processing chapter 15. Eventually, chapter 15 becomes a blur, a memory, a distant feeling. And once again, you're on chapter five, reading a completely different story from chapter 15, reading about a completely different version of you, building new relationships, healing past trauma, having the time of your life, and also living a life you don't remember planning. <laughs> But every chapter has led to this, this version of you. This is the real version of you. It's just the current version of you. The version of you that's experienced, that's lost, that's loved, that's cried, that's learned, and has thrived through every obstacle that was thrown at you. And chapter 25 may not be what you planned, but it is what it is. But you're proud of them either way because every moment led to this. Every obstacle led to this. Every lesson led to this version of you. When I was 15 years old, I started a YouTube channel in hopes of helping people smile and helping people change their mindset. And life got the best of me and it didn't go as planned, but I made it through and I'm doing what I always dreamed of, but in a different way, at a different capacity. And that's okay. I'm not giving up, I still haven't given up. It's been 10 years. 10 years ago, I started a YouTube channel. I came out of the closet publicly online, January 8th of 2014. Did I do it the right way? No. Did I kind of embarrass my family in a way? Yeah, but it's okay. I really needed the past 10 years to grow up and really grow into who Isaac is and start my social media management company that I have now, which is called Zeke's Content Creations. Rebranding myself as Zeke's Content Creations or Zeke. That's what my family's called me my whole life and I kind of like it. I still collect Apple products. I even got an Apple tattoo. I have the original Sony Walkman controls on my arm. I learned that people come and go. I learned that you can't always change everything about you. I learned that sometimes people are gonna hurt you and sometimes you're gonna hurt them. I grew up, I succeeded, I failed, I lost, I cried, I explored, I found love, I lost love, I found love again, I lost love again. <laughs> I still make content on TikTok if you wanna follow me at Barry Gay. Regardless of where I thought my life was going, I'm okay with where it is right now. I'm okay with being 25 and going back to college. I'm okay with living in my hometown. I'm even okay with working for my family. I think in a way it brought us closer. 2024 is all about putting myself first. It's all about taking care of myself. It's all about actually loving myself. And the last 10 years have kind of guided me to this point. I was born to be this version of myself. I was born to be the next version of myself and the previous version of myself. When I was 15 years old, obsessed with Tyler Oakley making YouTube videos. When I was 16 years old and found the first love of my life. When I was 17 years old and lost my little brother and had a huge falling out with my father when I was 18 years old and graduated high school and completely lost myself and couldn't afford college and had to drop out after my first semester. When I was 19 years old and I started going on random trips by myself and started finding adult friends like myself. When I was 20 and lost my favorite job at Starbucks and had to relearn who I was once again and enter my 20s with a new vision. When I was 21 and the COVID pandemic took over the world and I had to learn how to navigate that with everyone else. When I was 22 years old and met another guy I fell in love with and he changed my life forever for the good and bad. When I was 23 years old and moved back to my hometown in Michigan from Atlanta, got my dream job and started rebuilding my life. 
When I was 24 years old and started dating someone who taught me patience, taught me that I'm worthy of love, taught me that who I am is okay. And now I'm 25 and I feel good. I feel, I feel scared, I feel uncertain, but I feel good. I made it this far, so I think we can keep going. I just wanted to make this video to celebrate the last 10 years of my life, and I'm coming out again as Zeke, Zeke's Content Creations. This is my brand. This is what I want to do with my life, and I'm gonna stick to it. My name's Isaac McFadden, I'm 25 years old, and this has been my life for the past 10 years. Hello, my fellow YouTubers. So that's basically it for this um, video. 10 year anniversary, yes, I am gay. Jeez. I'm having too much fun with this. this roller coaster's so bad, I used to love it as a kid. Wait, they have a roller coaster? Yeah! Again. <laughs> Don't wanna chase highs When I'm too worn out When I'm too worn out So I I'm never coming down If you actually watch my channel, which is weird because nobody does. so much and if you're like deciding whether or not to subscribe to Isaac you honestly should right now because I think he is one of the funniest youtubers out there right now but like you're like low-key like but honestly I'm just gonna move off the game when it's over okay 